I prepared with my presentation to make it an appendix to the previous presentation. I think this is a <laughs> this is a game that we are all playing. We are making uh, questions to you. We'll have to find out who the text was written by. So who wrote it? It's about excitement. It's again a quotation. So excitement can have different natures. And it has various roles in literature. It's present in the theater when reading and you're reading books. So excitement is something that equals equals with experience. So it's actually the poet who makes a life more exciting, and if you don't believe it, you should you should go and try it. You should go and see for yourself. If you read Yokoi, another Hungarian writer, and you will feel completely differently having read one of his books. And excitement uh, has been generated only based on the book. And if you read a poem, poem, for instance, by Petrofi, and if it, this has a very desperate sounding, still it, it will generate a whole uh, storehouse of feelings and sentiments. So excitement is something that you get from reading literature. I put this book, and it will be very difficult to guess who it was written by. It was written by Janusz Honkisch. And when I found uh, this quotation, I told Balash uh, to my colleague and said that this is how you should write about literature. And there was another quotation and a kind of anecdote from yesterday that uh, Elamir Hankis got a picture postcard from his father every single week that you should um, uh, go, you should walk straight, you should comb your hair, and you should not splutter. And when he came here to, to, to talk at the conference in, in, in Kursek, he actually interpreted the lines. Uh, go straight means that you should have uh, uh, spine, and uh, you, if you want to comb yourself, it means that you should keep your life in order. And thirdly, uh, not to splutter, it means that you should be able to talk to people in a way that they understand you. And when they left, um, when the parents died and they started to go through the possessions of the, the parents in the, in the old house, um, they started to uh, actually go through their things and then, then when um, both of them died, both, both kids, they actually started to discover what, what this house was holding and then they got a room full of uh, papers and documents from Janusz Honkic, uh, who is um, LMA's brother. We don't know exactly um, what could have happened, sorry, it was uh, LMA's father. Uh, we don't know what could have happened uh, had he not overcome his father in terms of fame and reputation, uh, but he had done a great deal in the field of literature and he had published wonderful works as well. If we look at the past 20 or 30 years uh, in LMS, OFU, and uh, there was a very short period where he actually um, became a public figure. He was um, uh, the head of the Hungarian TV company, uh, the state TV, uh, but that was um, very brief. And also his father was uh, working at the Ministry of Education, but basically uh, he only very briefly touched upon literature and literary theory. He um, was interested more in music and he researched Liszt. He created uh, the Hungarian um, music uh, archives and and he also launched uh, the summer university. Uh, he was president of uh, for 16 years uh, in, in, in Debrecen. So there are quite interesting allusions between the two um, careers. This was another parallel between uh, the OFO of uh, the father and the son that is as notable. And if we go back to the activity that Janusz Honkis uh, 
conducted um, in the field of literature, I think there are some fantastic uh, parallels. He uh, was into French literature and he taught French uh, literature at the um, um, uh, University of Debrecen and he also uh, taught uh, comparative uh, literature in French. So it's quite an interesting thing. Uh, that he was the first one to actually say this in, uh, from among Hungarian literary criticists or uh, literary uh, scientists. Uh, that um, this, sorry, I missed this point. He's talking a little bit too fast. So, again, uh, I'm going to give you a text and you will have to tell me uh, who the writer is. I believe. I believe in recovery, I believe in pain, I believe in a perfect uh, health, healthy body and an open soul which does not have any fraud, any bad feelings, it's inconvincible. I don't believe in mistakes, I know that there are mistakes, I like dreams, I like hope. And I believe in the creative human spirit. What I hate is uh, uh, ignorance and uh, in scientific approach. And who is the author? It's once, once again Janusz Hankisch. And I think this hunk, this hunkish um, um, phenomenon is something that we should we should deal under one umbrella, and we should think of uh, the members of all the family, not only Elamir himself.